everyone you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation which is 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of x this is equal to 90 so what is the value of x given that x is not equal to 0 so let's provide a solution this exponential equation is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m which we can express as a to the power of n plus m applying this exponent property then we have 3 to the power of x plus x this is equal to 90 so this implies we have 3 to the power of 2x this is equal to 90 to solve for x we introduce logarithm on both sides so that we have rog 3 to the power of 2x this is equal to rog 90 now you find that rog 3 to the power of 2x this is in the form of rog a to the power of n which we can express as n rog a applying this power rule property of logarithm then rog 3 to the power of 2x becomes 2x rog 3 this is equal to rog 90 so let's divide both signs by rog 3 and also here by rog 3 so let's simplify rog 3 and rog 3 here so that now we have 2x this is equal to rog 90 divided by rog 3 now we can express 90 this is the same thing as 9 multiplied by 10 so this means we have 2x this is equal to rog 9 multiplied by 10 divided by rog 3 we find that rog 9 times 10 this is in the form of rog a multiplied by b which we can express as rog a plus rog b applying this logarithm property then we have here 2x is equal to this is rog 9 divided by rog 3 then plus rog 10 divided by rog 3 now we can express 9 as 3 to the power of 2 so this means we have 2x this is equal to rog 3 to the power of 2 divided by rog 3 then plus rog 10 divided by rog 3 now applying the power rule property here we have 2x this is equal to rog 3 to the power of 2 becomes 2 rog 3 divided by rog 3 then plus rog 10 divided by rog 3 so rog 3 here simplifies so that now we have 2x this is equal to 2 plus now we have rog 10 divided by rog 3 now we can express 10 basically as 5 times 2 and this means we have 2x this is equal to 2 plus this is rog 5 multiplied by 2 divided by rog 3 so that now we have 2x this is equal to 2 plus now rog 5 times 2 we can express this as rog 5 divided by rog 3 then plus rog 2 divided by rog 3 so rog 5 over rog 3 and rog 2 over rog 3 this is in the form of rog a divided by rog b which we can express as rog a to base b applying this logarithm property then we have 2x this is equal to 2 plus rog 5 to base 3 then plus rog 2 to base 3 now the next step is to divide both sides a by 2 so that now we have that here x is equal to now 2 defined by 2 this is 1 then plus half rog 5 
to base 3, then plus a half log 2 to base 3. So this is the value of x. This is the value of x. The next step is to verify that this value of x satisfies the equation as follows. Now, if you recall, we end that 3 to the power of x times 3 to the power of x. This is supposed to give us a value of 90. Now, seeing that this is in the form of a to the power of n times a to the power of m, which we can express as a to the power of n plus m. So this implies we have 3 to the power of x plus x. This should give us a value of 90. So we have 3 to the power of x plus x, which is 2x. This is supposed to give us a value of 90. Now substituting the value of x here, we have 3 to the power of 2 multiplied by x, which is 1 plus a half log 5 to base 3, then plus a half log 2 log 2 to base 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 90. So from here, let's open the parentheses here. Now we have 3 to the power of 2 times 1, which is 2, plus 2 and 2 simplifies here. So we have rog 5 to base 3, then plus 2 and 2 here simplifies. So we have rog 2 to base 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 90. Now 3 to the power of 2 plus rog 5 to base 3 plus rog 2 to base 3. This is in the form of a to the power of n plus m which we can transform as a to the power of n multiplying by a to the power of m. So this means we have 3 to the power of 2 multiplying by 3 to the power of rho 5 to base 3 multiplying by 3 to the power of rho 2 to base 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 90. Now 3 to the power of rho 5 to base 3, this is in the form of a to the power of rho b to base a which essentially is equal to b applying this property then 3 to the power of rho 5 to base 3 this is equal to 5 and we have that 3 to the power of rho 2 to base 3 this is equal to 2 now let's substitute this back to the equation so we have 3 squared multiplying by 5, multiplying by 2, this should give us a value of 90. So 3 squared, this is 9, multiplying by 5 times 2, this is 10, this should give us a value of 90. So 9 times 10, this is 90, which is equal to 90. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side and this proves that the value of x which is equal to 1 plus a half rock 5 to base 3 plus a half rock 2 to base 3 satisfies the equation so kindly of follow the steps like this video and subscribe see you in the next video